Welcome back everybody. In this spreadsheet tutorial we're going to go over the COMBIN function which stands for combination. We will be using numbers for the Mac however for the most part this should work basically the same for Google Sheets, Spreadsheets, and Excel. A couple notes before we get started. The COMBIN function returns the number of different ways you can combine a number of items into groups of a specific size ignoring the order within the groups. Both arguments are number values. Combinations are arrangements of objects without regard to order, and in this example, without repetition, selected from a distinct number of objects. If the order doesn't matter, it is a combination. If the order does matter, it is a permutation. So let's go ahead and go over an example. Our example is, how many ways can three pizzas be chosen in any order from a menu of 10 pizzas? So here we have our formula. The combination equals n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. Now when we go ahead and plug in our numbers from our example using the pizzas, we get 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 10 minus 3 factorial, where n equals 10, and that is the total items, and r equals 3, which is the group size. Okay, so we go ahead and we start to solve, and we go a little bit further, we get 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 7 factorial. If you expand that out, you can see what we get for the top part here and the bottom part here. We can go ahead and cancel out this part on both the top and the bottom, and we're left with 10 times 9 times 8 on the top, and 3 times 2 times 1 on the bottom. And going to the answer, that gives us 720 over 6, which gives us a final answer of 120 combinations. Okay, so the answer to the question, how many ways can 3 pizzas be chosen in any order from a menu of 10 pizzas is 120. Now let's go ahead and use our spreadsheet function to see if we get the same answer. So here we have our total items, which is 10, and our group size, which is 3, which matches our example here. Let's hit equals type in combin. The combin function takes two arguments, total items and group size. Let's put in 10 for the first argument and three for the second. Let's go ahead and hit the check mark and we should get 120. And we do, that's good. So here we have three more examples. In this example, we have total items of three and a group size of two. Here we have another example of total items of five and a group size of two. And this last example is just a duplicate. So let's go ahead and drag our formula down. Now for the example of total items of three and a group size of two, the answer is three. This next example with total items of five and a group size of two gives us an answer of 10. Now just to show you, you could use this formula here with the factorial function to calculate the answer. And this example mimics our example with the pizzas. But as you can see, this formula is a little bit more complicated. So you might as well just go ahead and use the combination function. Now again, using this example with the pizzas, if you wanted to see all the combinations, here we have a listing. If we scroll down to the bottom real quick, you can see there's 120 combinations, and each combination is listed here in column B. Okay? Now there are a couple other variations when trying to figure out the different number of combinations for different data sets. One variation is when you're doing your calculation you allow replacements and another variation is when you try to figure out all possible combinations. So in that case that would take this total number of items and you would get rid of the group size and you would try to figure out all the combinations for any possible group size. Now for those different variations I'm going to try and do a Python tutorial to show you how to do that. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and look for that Python tutorial in the near future. Okay, that's all we have for this spreadsheet tutorial on the combination function. We'll be doing many more spreadsheet tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.